Now we have a young man from Norway, his name is Matthias Meyer. He's from the organization Klimawenner from Kjernkraft. I hope I don't mess this up. Um, it's a young growing organization funded, uh, founded just a year ago, uh, already a couple of hundred members. Matthias Meyer. Thank you for uh, being here. Yeah. It's so cold there. Yeah. Almost as if you need nuclear to heat it up. 400 years ago, my German ancestors came from the very ground we stand here and traveled all the way to the cold and foreign Norway to proselytize the word of God as missionaries. And now, eight, year, eight generations later, we're coming back but not as raiding Vikings, but to spread the word of science and to convince you Germans to accept nuclear power into your heart. And some could ask, why listen to me? Because Norway has no nuclear power. So why should you listen to us to, have, uh, to revitalize your nuclear power? Well, I'll tell you, it's because Norway has shown the importance of stable green energy. Our energy grid is consisting of mildly hydropower. Our country with very few people, but many rivers, has been able to provide cheap, reliable green energy for our homes, our jobs, and now to electrify our transport. We have shown how electrification can be done right, as in our homes use mainly electric heating, where people use electric stoves for cooking food instead of burning gas. And we've shown the potential for society to go green and go electric if you have stable green power source backing you. But Norway is running out of energy. Our last rivers to dam are nature reserves. Edens for nature and for our wildlife. People are starting to pay a fortune for electricity from taking a shower or to keep the family warm. Large anti-wind movements gaining ground want to protect our nature and our wildlife and therefore both Germany and Norway has decided they no longer want wind power on their land. Germany now looks to coal and gas when they face out nuclear. But fossil fuels needs to be phased out if we want to decarbonize to solve the climate crisis. Europe needs clean, abundant, independent and a stable power source transcending us into a united, green, optimistic future. Europe needs nuclear to bring warmth into your homes when there is a cold winter. Europe needs nuclear to bring light when there is dark. Therefore, Germany, the industrial locomotive of Europe, needs to keep the nuclear power plants up. Thank you, and best regards from Norway. Thank you, Matthias. It's, it's awesome to have this international support here.